Hello, viewers are currently watching this video in the past, present, and future. DLC 2 came out, as you can see. <laughs> Along the top. Right now. Getting a whole lot of stuff. So, yeah, we're going to be getting those eventually. Those ones are not as hard to get. Honestly. But they're very useful. Like, I think that some of them are way more useful than ones in the first DLC pack, but anyways, head back into Zorthu main here. Um, I did a poll that asked, uh, which Divine Beast should I do next? Oh yeah, yeah, they added more memories and stuff. We're gonna be doing that after we're done with, uh, the normal, the normal game. We'll go, move on to that one. We'll do some more shrines. But the winner of the poll was the Rito Divine Beast, La Meadow. So that's what we're going to be going for next. Shoot. Ah. Uh. I couldn't have gotten that any closer. Okay, good start. Saving myself from certain death right there. But yeah, we're going to get some shrines in between this episode, probably. And then after that, we're going to do another episode where we're going to, uh... Where we're going to start heading towards the... Vomito. How you doing, Eyes? Just a second, my computer's lagging pretty bad right now. Alright. So that, this one is really hard to, of a thing. Actually. Heck, nah, okay. So this one, it's like a mystery. I go. How many friends do I have? Not many at all whatsoever. Okay. How much money do I have? Okay. Not much at all whatsoever. But I'm kind of sad that one because I would love to go to Death Mountain and get some ore for some money so I'm prepared for Rito, the Rito one. Because arrows are very useful throughout that dungeon. These blues. <laughs> Oh, what? How come I always get these guys to come in right when I'm in the middle of other combat? Well, at least we got a bunch of points for that. <sighs> okay. So, actually. After I'm done with this shrine. Ooh, arrows. What? Oh, only some of their arrows are actually sticking. And also this is danger. This is danger. I just can't aim for crap. Ow! Okay, he hit me. I'm out. Dude, you're fine. Alright. Oh. 
So apparently, I, I I already heard it. If we uh if we have the quest, so what are we gonna do? Where are we? Okay. Yeah, there's a big unexplored area up here. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna head up there. Green right now, so hopefully this doesn't have much climbing. This area. Enemies like to pop out at once. Oh, I don't have much food at all. Might as well. What food do I have actually right now to cook? Like ready for cooking. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay. Alright. So all that stuff is important. Hey, man. Ma'am, ma'am is uh okay. <laughs> hey, ma'am. Ma'am ma'am is a ghost. <laughs> Baron Woods is really, really thick. I've also heard of a lake there called Mouth of the Dragon or something. Heard a tidbit from another adventurer, I couldn't wait to share it. It's a lake? Shit like a mouth of a dragon. I'd say follow the river, wouldn't you? Oh, looks like the Korok right here. All right. Bye bye. But the Rito quests, they're not that hard, like, at all. So this should not be a problem to... I might even be able to complete the whole Rito, uh, thing today, in this live stream. Certainly not in this video, but this live stream. Definitely not in this video, because we're not actually starting in this video at all. Okay. So it's raining right now, so it's... Uh, I'm not going to be able to climb out of that water. So I'll just take this bridge. <laughs> I did not see. Oh, so many fireflies. Ooh, that looks so scary. Ran into the zone I ruins. Just like the, uh... Direct showed off. How many do I have? Ten. Should I head up into it? I don't know. Looks a bit scary. There it is, don't I ruins? No, you don't. He already blew his horn, so I think my cover is just automatically blown. Which kind of blows. <laughs> No! It's in combat mode. Oh, it, it wasn't a headshot? What? It's not coming towards me. Yeah, that one was considered a headshot.
Okay, so I can't reach him with any big weapons. I don't really have any spears. Okay. I'm just gonna walk away because I can't fight him. I can't fight him. I can't reach him with my biggest weapon. So what's the freaking point? He's gonna start a thunderstorm bow. Like, he's gonna still be trying to fight me from a long distance. Oh, shoot. I whistled. That was my mistake. to have this on. Where is it? Oh, I already do. Have the Zora armor on. Wait, do I have the Zora helm? I thought I got the Zora helm. That's one heals, okay. Yes! Already doing it. All right. This has been an extremely difficult road. Oh shoot! All right. If really it was raining, I would not be able to climb up that. Okay, I'm gonna get back onto the straight and narrow path. Uh, straight and narrow path is full of enemies, though. Get anywhere near one of those and you lose your weapon. Beat it. not jump away from that in time. Where are we? Okay. Looks like I went, took a wrong turn at some point. I'm not exactly going the way I wanted to be going. I'm gonna take the side path around these guys. Is that? Oh my god, that's the silver. Sweet Jesus. Shoot, how did they find me? Is this morning time for them? Why are they woken up? Why are they woke? Okay. I'm gonna get up higher. Get at a good angle. And you know what? Yeah! I like this. I'm gonna take the stealthy route to this place. We're gonna take the back route. See what they showed taking down this fortress area? in the uh, Game Awards, was it last year? I think it was Game Awards last year, not this year. It was Game Awards that we saw earlier. Uh, that we saw them take on this place. Uh, I should have been using this flame blade this whole time since it's such a good weapon. Uh, no, I don't want to use this leaf. Get rid of it. Bah! Can't throw it. I don't want that leaf. But 
deep down there. Seems like there is a quirk puzzle here. Damn, alright. Where did I? Or maybe I could just. What? Actually, good God, that hoe was powerful. Yep, that's gone. Never mind. Whatever. That's fine. This is that enemy fortress. Dude situated on pillars, there's people along the sides. Like up there with bows and arrows. People along the bottom with all that stuff. This place is very well fortified and very deadly. So, here I am, way up here. Now, I'm, we're gonna be stuck with fighting a silver moblin though, is the thing. I'll be right back. I have to feed my dog. Alright, I'm back. There's a little something here. seem alarmed. So yeah, I knew that was there from getting it in my normal game. So I thought I might as well get it here now. Where's that moblin? I don't know. I'm gonna save right here. I'm not in the mouth. <laughs> There's the EX chat <laughs> sitting way down there. Okay. Maybe. What the Roger Hood does is increases the speed of you moving sideways, which is, of course, a reference to. Connected to the 
went inside of the wall and then went sideways. So it like increases our sideways speed. Found the spring of courage. <laughs> he just gave up. It's freaking brilliant. I'm not gonna be able to get that chest from him though. Wait. What? You have done well to find the spring. Offer for Arsh's scale received from the Golden Spirit to the Spring of Courage. I, Goddess Hylia, will guide you. So I need... I need to get for Arsh's scale. Here. Which could be a problem. I do not think I have for Arsh's scale. So... Yeah, that's a problem. <laughs> yeah, that's it's definitely not here. Okay. So Farash flies over like Hylia and through this region a lot. So we want to open up the store, we're gonna need it. So there was that. Topo to Lake Tower now. We're gonna head back here. I just realized that my friend goes in the top left. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's been like that the whole stream. My bad. The whole video. And the whole stream. But. That doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, it's just a slight annoyance in the top left. Doesn't matter that much. Alright. So the plan is get to the middle of the lake. We're gonna get this done before the end of the video. That shrine quest. We're gonna get that done. That's gonna be this episode. This episode's name is going to be The Serpent's Jaws. Shrine nearby. Hey, we can throw another shrine in there too. I forget there's a shrine down here.
Actually, I know exactly what we're gonna do next episode. Exactly what we're gonna do next episode. Alright. To you who sets foot in the shrine, I am Yanaga. The name, in the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. Shatter the heavens. That sounds beautiful. That sounds like a wonderful name for a thing that exists. So th uh, hitting that's gonna make it go way up in the air. Uh, uh. So I'll paint this place this here. Now when it goes up, this is up, boom. That's good. I like that. Didn't even have to waste my only bomb arrow. There we go. That wasn't hard. Your resourcefulness and resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. The next episode's gonna be my last episode. I, I like to record these in set to three, but that's not happening today. Ah, cause I gotta go. I'm gonna go with my dog to the uh, hospital. Or vet. <laughs> hospital. <laughs> go to the vet with my dog to see how things are going with him. Then when I get back, I'm gonna record a record a video on Splatoon 2's update. Pain, it's gotta get it done with, and then I can record normal Splatoon 2 series episodes. It's the point where I just put off recording them just because I didn't want to uh, have to update that thing constantly. The uh, updater information that I use. Alright, so how many, do I have any normal arrows yet anymore? No. Okay, so I'm gonna need to use shock arrows. That sucks, alright. Do I have no flint? Ugh! Why do I have no flint? Oh my god, it's way too long to actually wait normal amounts of time. How the frick? Do I not have... This is my method of getting Far Farash to appear for me. Ravio unhappy. Alright. Yeah, there's the shrine up there, I forget. Oh, this shrine didn't complete. Oh, modest test of strength, yeah. This one's a major test of strength. <laughs> it's not happening anytime soon. There's not much shrines we can do. What? Right there? I think I got that wrong. <laughs> Guess I'll head here for now. This has been quite the uneventful episode then. It has to be on our list of stuff to do sometime. In fact, I'm probably going to make that because I'm going to forget cause since these episodes are so... There's so much time in between each episode of this series. I like the second DLC pack has come out by now. And this video, uh, this series was to be made on the first DLC pack. 
more or less, you know? And, I mean, we're on episode 30, but we're halfway through the game, more or less. Okay, we have a dock. And... Maybe things to do in Breath of the Wild Master Mode. All right. What's the name of it? Take a Korok. <laughs> Taking this rock with me. Ow! Ow! <laughs> <laughs> the rock followed me. What the? I can't get out. Oh, okay, there we go. Stay so here, okay. EX chests, because unlike the first one, the EX chests aren't just in a uh, guardian territory right in the middle. Up here. Or here, wait. I believe this area right here. <laughs> Alright, Garb of Winds. So that increases heat resistance. So that's good. Um, there's a load of stuff that stuff in Faron, but I think this episode was. It, I I mean I started it. I checked out my side quest and decided okay, it's or er, shrine qu shrine quest and decided okay, this vi this uh, video series this video is going to be uh the serpent's jaws and I failed it. So this episode is <laughs> kind of a failure episode, but whatever. Can't win everything. So don't die for the next video, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.